Hopkinton resident, HCAM volunteer, and member of the Hopkinton Trails Club, John Ritz, spoke at a public forum at the Hopkinton Senior Center and shared information about the Hopkinton Trails Club. So I'm going to start with a question, who cares about trails? And the answer is, we do. You obviously do because you're here, but the town as a whole does. The town periodically runs surveys of residents' priorities for open space and recreation, and consistently trails, bike trails and hiking trails, are at the top of the list. So this is going back to 2001, number one and two. I've seen one of these from 1996, and pretty much the same uh, response is there. So there's interest in trails in town. John talked about how the Hopkinton Trails Club was started. We had a resident here, um, let me show you her picture. She's on the right, Lisa Jackson, who had an interest, a specific interest in trails. She's a horseback rider, and she wanted to find trails um, to ride on, get some new trails. So she went to the town to say, who do I talk to about trails? And the town said, we don't really have a central trail person to talk to. So Lisa being Lisa went out and said, I'm going to put together a club of people that want to talk about trails. <laughs> so she, along with Beth Rolfs and Matt Sedek, formed the Hopkinton Trails Club. The Hopkinton Trails Club hosts monthly walks and events to help maintain and keep the town trails clean. I'll just read the first line of it, which is the most important. We're a volunteer group of area residents dedicated to enjoying and enhancing the, tra the existing trails in town while promoting the creation of new trails and improving trail connections throughout the community. That's what we're about, getting people out on the trails, showing people what trails we have, um, and getting advocating for new trails throughout the town. We've been together since 2005, so going on 12 years, once a month, we've skipped a month here and there, but for the most part, we're out every month. You can do the math and figure out how many walks we've been on. We've had upwards of 40 people on walks. We've had, I led one walk where one other person showed up and we still went out and walked and it was a nice time. Um, it's a great way of achieving our mission because it gets people out on the trails, forms a connection. If you walk a trail and like it, you tend to say, I'd like to see this trail maintained. I'd like to see it improve. I'd like to see more of these trails. You form a connection with that trail. We do trail work and um, work with the scouts on projects. Most of our trail work projects are one-offs. Somebody contacts us and says, we have an issue. We have a bridge that needs rebuilding. Um, can you come out and help us? And we'll throw out a quick email blast, put together a crew, and go out for a half a day and work on them. We have some recurring projects that you can hear about over there with um, Lake Whitehall cleanup and the center trail. We do a cleanup there every spring. We do support and advocacy. Support, um, we collect, we go out and do the recycling center, collecting redeemables a couple times a year, raise money, but we have no expenses, literally, um, for this club. We don't even pay for our website. So what do we do with that money? We donate it. We find organizations that support the same things as we, we do. So Friends of Whitehall, um, HALT, the Friends of Upton State Forest, and we'll make donations to them to help them keep their causes going. We also cross-promote events. Um, they'll let us know what they're doing. We share our events. We go to their stuff. They come to ours. It's a lot of fun. It's a named trail system. There are a lot more trails than just those, and you'll see some of those over in that corner when we get to the breakouts. There are a ton of just informal little backyard trails, but these are the ones all of these have names, and it's deceptive because, let me show you one of them. So over here is Lake Whitehall, which is a state park. Most of the park is underwater, but it has trails all around it. There's a six mile trail around it, but over in here, there's a real nice little system. There's another one up in here. More information about the Hopkinton Trails Club can be found at their website, hopkintontrailsclub.com, or on Facebook, or Twitter by following at Hop Trails.